Good morning. On the eighth Sunday after Trinity, the readings are Luke 12, 32 to 40, and Hebrews 11, 1 to 3, and 8 to 16. It's holiday season, and some of you may have enjoyed a little break already, or you are looking forward to one. Even if some time away is not possible this year, I hope that at least you may find ways to be refreshed. If you are travelling, you will be aware of the things you need to do in order to prepare for your journey. You need to think carefully about the things you need to take with you and how to be ready for the journey and for staying somewhere else. I know that I have at times forgotten a few things. Most of the time they were non-essentials like the extra pairs of socks, but forgetting a toothbrush is a little more tricky, let alone a passport. I like to travel light, but there are things I know I definitely need to take with me, so I don't want to find that I've packed in haste and forgotten something essential. In Luke 12, Jesus is talking about getting ready for action about getting ready, as he says, for the coming of the Son of Man, both in the there and then, and in the return of Jesus in the future. In other words, for the acts of God, for the day when God proceeds in the next phase of his story with humanity. Jesus likens it to the return from the wedding banquet of the servant's master, or even to a thief who breaks into a house. Each time there is no saying exactly when, but the effect will be very visible and of consequence. Being ready, then, is the call, as Jesus says. And for that you need to know a little bit about reading the time or interpreting what is going on. And for that, I don't mean just looking at the clock. In Paul's letter to the Hebrews, the theme is taken up in chapter 11 in terms of faith. Faith being the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen has the power to give perspective to our lives. It helps us see not just what is visible with our eyes in the physical sense, but what is invisible in the spiritual sense. Beginning with the first Old Testament heroes, he goes through the list of those who responded to God's word and his promptings to act according to God's will and in his purpose for them and for the world. God's plan of salvation was being prepared in that way through the people of faith who first heard God's voice not always knowing why or how. But they acted anyway because they had learned to trust God and they could see that his ways were best. How does that help us, you may wonder? You may be perplexed by the signs that we are seeing in our time, the pandemic, the war in Ukraine and other things that are happening in our lifetime. What are we to do with the consequences and the effects of all these things that they have on our lives today? And how are we getting ready? And for what? Seeing what is going on and interpreting them isn't always easy. And yet, Jesus is asking us to do just that. In fact, he encourages us strongly to do so. Why? because of the drama that is to unfold very soon, and because of the wonderful gift of salvation that it brings. Think of it like the Exodus, the dramatic rescue of the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. It came about through obedience. Now Jesus is going to act in a very dramatic way as well, this time not just for Israel, but for the whole world. Through his death and resurrection, he will set every believer free from the power of sin and death. And even though many would not understand it, they could appropriate it, this freedom, through faith. I know that there are many today who cannot see 
or who are questioning their faith, wondering why they can't see the evidence they feel they need. But that is not the point. After the resurrection, Jesus said to Thomas, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. The point is that with all the evidence of the past, we are called to be ready now for the future. And that means travelling light in terms of our possessions, but making sure that we have got the essentials for travelling in the right direction. Christ calls us close to him all the time. We just need to hear and act. Amen.